let's see something in Aragay in what is called Nami Gaishi. So Nami is wave and Gaishi is return, to return something in this case, uh, his own power, his own energy. In the case of Nami Gaishi, what we have is a particular case. Suppose he is riding a Zinai Nami to Kobitori, he is entered in a very firm grip and then He's, he has his hara and his power uh, pointing, aiming forward. So, instead of the usual approach that we have in Aikyu Jutsu, for example, what we are going to do is we will allow, we will make actually, um, we'll bring his hara, his hips forward, and then return the key for himself. Uh, in the case of Aikyu Jutsu, in Namigaya Shinai Ami. So, you gotta have this condition first, you know? You gotta, you gotta have it in a situation in which he is, he had, he had his power returned and locked in. You know, we, we cannot return his power and have um, a loose hand or a loose uh, part of his body. In any case that we're talking about, Nami Gaeshi in Ayahami yet. We are allowing his power to return and lock him. Well, what the, what the ancient masters used to do is, once he was locked in, they would explode downward violently, always downward. And uh, it is quite, there is a particular point that uh, shows if that practitioner had actually studied, that is, we cannot explode and allow him to get loose. That is, for instance, if I do this, I have locked, but I do this, you know, uh, launching or uh, projecting Shinoichi Luis in this case, but in a loose movement, well, he could even be applying some hara in this case, but this is not Nagaishi. He has to be uh, in a full uh, contact, fully locked. In the case of Yaku Hami, if he's here, please, Shinoichi. In the case of Yaku Hami, this. Allowing his, his hips, his hara, his power to pass first and then flow. Without losing the to be. It's very important for. So you see, for Nami um, Gaeshi, we have to have the Musubu, the Musubi principle quite well established, you know? Because if I try to do uh, a very common mistake here is to do this and having this gap in here. So, the idea is, he will just come and hold. First of all, lock him. After you have locked him, go down violently. Now, let's see some other cases. Suppose he attacked us in Mapochi. Having his katula locked first, first of all, we have this Sukima here. Let's see some ways uh, we could use this Sukima. So first of all is lock him and uh, straight downward. In other case, as he has attacked, and we came in, we may create, may extend this gap, this Sukima, by um, rotating a bit. Furthermore, suppose we have both hands here, so we may have locked him in this case, using both hands to press downward, and uh, uh, he holds firm, very nice, suppose you have a static position, he holds firm, he's putting his hara forward, so he, he tries to do this, suppose he reaches this point, but yet, lose the power to lock him in. Now, case we could have, because we are talking about Nami Gaeshi, but this is closely, um, it has a close relation to Shingo Po, that is the actual origin in our school uh, of Harage. So Shilu Shilu Luis has just, uh, just published, some of these days ago, the, an excellent video explaining and showing some forms and principles of Shingo Po. So, he was just talking us, 
talking to us that uh, most of this principle came from people who uh, did their works, did, did their, their work in, into boats for a living. And they had to have this, this condition, this, this power, uh, quite, you know, quite set. And uh, what we see here in the case of Mapo, it's just this. We are here, but this movement, not coming from the, from the back, not coming from the shoulder, but uh, mainly from the Hara, first of all, it resembles this very origin in Shinropo. So by doing this violently, suppose we are kneeling down in a Hiza form, we, we can trace now, we can trace back this origin to the Shinropo forms. In the same way, a form of Navigaishi in my movements. So we may allow him Hara to come first, and then allow him uh, allow his Hara to, to, to set down. So one more time, in two steps, what we have is he holds very very firmly, very nice. We have one and two. We could easily uh, me injure here if I explode it down, or I could just take his arm from here and explode down violently. So these were some forms that we studied in Namigaeshi, and we saw a brief relation with the Shinopo method and studies uh, that Luis Luis has just told us. Um, this can be used in many highs, in the mid-level, in, the, in the, uh, uh, a condition of being this high, or this high, or this high, and there are many variations of this method. It, it is used mostly in Aikido Jujutsu, as we have seen, uh, and is actually one of the studies in Harage in our school. Thank you very much.